subscribe you can you don't have to have to this channel was pretty much creative for fun uh, this is I would say this is my second video but uh, I'll ask Rowdy this is my official video my first video was, was just uh, was uh, Dark Souls Remastered just a tutorial area just, the Undead Asylum. And then, uh, this is that video was more or less uh, just to test how to test out how the recording, how the sound came out, came out and everything. Everything I just. Know. It seems death won't stop chasing me. Just to pretty much. Show, show what. Just to pretty much see how it actually worked out and everything, and stuff like that. And this video, I'm probably gonna also see see how uh, how everything actually turns out. Uh, if If it does good, I'll pretty much do, do more, more and everything, but, but really this is nothing more than just, just really just for fun. Hey, what are you doing? That's pretty much it, it but yeah. Uh, this isn't really, it's not really a blind playthrough or anything like that, it's just, it's a good old let's play, fun, fun, I have played the game before and everything like that, but that is just, I never really managed to like, finish the game, because other things would come up and, come up and, 
play any games in a while, so I'm just there to just here to have fun online. Online, uh, good bit before I have to go to work and everything. This is pretty much this area. If you ever played this game before. Good old simple, simple tutorial area. They'll teach you how to play the game and everything. This, the game itself, the beginning area takes place in a prison, prison in London, London. It is a good game. I do enjoy it. Enjoy it. It's pretty much tip for Dark Souls. Dark Souls feel of the game. And everything. It is a good game. Enjoy it, Dark Souls. Almost got hit by it. Uh, Only difference is in this game. The only difference is in this game. There's there's really no shields or anything. Anything of the sort. So so you pretty much pretty much doing nothing more than just. I'm doing nothing more than simply just swords. You know, it's a good game because it also takes place in feudal lord Japan and it's shit. Where's that? But there's different kinds of weapons. You you can use in this game, game from swords, spears, axes, kunai, tampas, tampas, stuff like that. This. This is one one of my favorite games. Things and everything. Things since since it does have a since you can build your character how you want it how you want him strong ninja ninja you can even have him as kind of like a priest priest of, of sorts. Here, if you look, look in, you can see one of the main bad guys, but you can't see the other person. The death of the leader of the stay here long enough. There's another character. You'll have a soldier come by, come by, and actually see. Once tomorrow's execution takes place, everything we will get our hands on a compass that will lead us to that Amrita. With enough. We could subdue Spain, perhaps even the world. The day when England reigns supreme is near. But our beloved queen thinks of Amrita as nothing more than gold or gemstones. We must find them before our nation's rivals do. Edward Kelly, you will go to Japan. It seems it would be to our advantage to keep the wars alive. We cannot gain Amrita if blood does not flow. Hi! Who are you? Such noise. Stone. It's 
you can see, we've been getting a lot of stones. Stones are actually pretty good if you want to want to draw your enemies away, play or you want to, or if it's a big group group and you only want to fight them one at a time. Time you can throw a, you can lock onto them, to them and throw a stone at them, at them and everything, everything, and you'll literally. It'll make it, and it'll draw just that one person. As long as, as long as they're not, not super close to another hand. You can change, you can change your weapons on the fly. Fly between two, between your melee and your range. Also, also between between the different range weapons, you can go from like, like simple uh, muskets. Two people in here, but. Sometimes talk, talk, you know, 
not only will they give you Amrita, Amrita, which is pretty much like souls and dark souls and stuff like that, that but it also pretty much helps you helps you learn learn like what happened to to that person and everything like that. This door opens to where those two guards are. Or and everything. You could consider it a shortcut, shortcut and everything. And just like in a Souls game, Souls game, if you pray, pray at a monument, it'll pretty much bring back all the enemies, enemies and everything. Down here, here you'll actually learn, learn a skill, skill, and learn what happened to the monster crew. monsters like that to fight wars. Guess they got no more use for us. Yeah, so, so with Amrita, Amrita there's also, Amrita is also able to uh, create, train monsters, monsters and everything too. And that's what some of the people in, people in, in this, in this area are doing. Oh God! You, you wanted to kill me from the start. And yeah, these guys pretty much were pretty much were part of the crew crew to find it. And they pretty much outlived their usefulness. This and everything. Striking when the opponent is down and helpless. That's what they're trying to do to all of us who fought for queen and country. Pressing Y, pressing Y on the down opponent. It's pretty much, pretty much as simple. Just stabbing them. It is a critical. It is a critical, critical. So, it, so it will do, do tons of damage to, to say, opponent and everything. Everything. And there's also a skill for when they run out, when the enemy runs out of stamina, stamina and everything. So, huh? You gotta be careful with these guys. They do dodge. They can't block. Block and everything. Once they fall, you see the red circle. Just press, just press either Y on the Xbox or, or triangle on PlayStation. PlayStation. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to press for a, for a B for I mean for PC. See, and there are uh, and there are priority levels for everything, everything. So, so light is common. It's your common shit. Yellow is uncommon. Probably blue is like it's your rare, where they come with uh, better stuff, stuff and everything of the like. Like, and they come stronger. They are stronger and everything. Everything. And then the special effects for the items. Items can barely be be anything between key reduction between stamina reduction, reduction on an attack to extra damage, damage, getting more money from fallen enemies, getting better equipment drop, drop and stuff like that. same way for and it's the same way for your armor as well so every little bit helps helps in everything so so you want to so really really if you find better armor armor but you don't like the way it has there is a way for you to, do, to get something there is a way for you to uh, 
pass for Jethroar and you're to steal from one piece of armor one of your favorite pieces of armor to, to the one you want to use is the of course of course you have to be careful about it about it because because it might end up getting rid of one of the other ones you don't want to use that you want to use I'm gonna do something if I jump it and just like in Dark Souls, there is a drop attack. attack. And it is very, very useful. Useful. It doesn't matter what what attack button you press, press their damage. If I remember correctly, it's still the same. Same. It's, it really just comes down to what kind of weapon you're using. Because it could, could count as like double hit. Stuff like that. Now this is going to be your tutorial boss. Tutorial boss. Did you pass through it here? Here. So the tutorial boss. Boss. Just beat him. Beat him. Do it pretty much. Done. Done. But, but, there is a difference between how he actually works. You want to be careful, be careful because when he attacks, because he does have voice, voice, so, so it's hard to stagger him. Ah, it's you, the man with the guardian spirit. If I die, the secret of the stones dies with me. Let me show you what these stones can do. Behold. It's time for your execution. This you can actually see what he actually does for the stuff, what he actually can do. You only want to do two hits, hits because the bar underneath the it shows. So it shows he will not be staggered until that bar is hit. So you want to keep your distance, you want to force him to, to run for it. Kingdom of gold. 
finally start start the actual game I'm not going to read this if you want to read it just pause it pause it and everything but this literally just just comes down to what kind of weapons we want to use using everything I think pretty much it will help you if you choose what kind of build you want to have, have in this in this game Game and everything. So for me, me, I'm going to be going over a skill, a skill build, build, and it's a good and really, really skill. Skill is actually a good. It's actually a pretty good way, way to go. Though considering, considering, you don't have to use use just that typical weapon. Weapon. You can use any weapon you want. One is just that if your stats aren't aren't what what is cracked up to be, be or you don't meet the required stats that for that weapon, you just can't you just can use the actual ability abilities for for that weapon. You don't get the get the inherited bone inherited uh, special effects effects for it. That's it, and that's for. And that's for everything from from weapons to armor, 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 and everything, everything, everything. So I already got double swords. So the next one I am going to do do is going to actually be the the Kusuragami. Gami. I mean, this is just to help get to where you want want your character to start off with, you know, make it easier on where you want them to go. So, these are the three beasts you start off with. Off with pretty much fire, water, water, and wind. Wind. There's more more guardian beasts out there as you progress through the great through the game, game and everything. Everything since I want him to be skill based, skill based, I'm gonna go with the hawk, hawk, with the Daiba Washi, Washi, and of course you can change it however you want. You can change them if you don't want to start off like this, this, but I want to, so I'm gonna go go with this, go with this, this, this. Uh, I have used the Tom Fuzz before, but but you only really use like wooden ones, wooden ones and stuff like that. That's so, uh, not actually, actually, nah. I'll leave it. Yeah, I'll leave it because you can find Tom Fuzz anywhere, anywhere. Then of course, of course, you can do the tutorial mission if you wish to. Which to already know how to play the game, so so I'm not gonna really touch up on the tutorial mission. But you can even literally just start it whenever you want. But I pretty much uh, it's been a while since I last played the game, so I deleted all the all my old characters, characters and stuff to pretty much start off brand new. 
brand new, but I do remember the controls, controls and everything for the game. It came and even then, it's really easy to pick up. Hey, baby. Hey. Oh, you're recording right now? Yeah. My bad. You're good. You're good. You still got some glitter on your face. Well, I know Alvin's not going to come off. True. But, but I'm about to end the recording. Anyway, it's going on past 30 minutes in the so. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll see you guys next time.